where you should look in a handstand uh, will actually depend uh, on what handstand you're performing. But uh, in this video, I'm going to speak about uh, the traditional first version of a handstand. And uh, for that, I would suggest uh, that uh, you look in front of your thumb. Now, you may be worried about your head position, and I'm going to speak about that, but uh, this is, I believe, less of a priority, less of importance in comparison to where you look. Now, if we were to look at uh, our head in relation to our arms, we will define three different positions. My shoulders are in 100 degrees of uh, flexion and the position of the head is one here where my chin is parallel with uh, my arms. You can see these two are in the same line. The second one is uh, where my back of my head is in line with uh, my arms and finally is when my Chin is touching my chest and this is position 3. Between these three positions we can say that uh, our head should be in one and a half or something about that. Now keep that in mind uh, but uh, I want to go back uh, into what uh, I mentioned in the beginning of this video is that the most important thing is where you look. With the exception of people that practice capoeira that they want you to look uh, back, I think that everybody should pay a lot of uh, attention into where they look, which should, should be a little bit more forward what, what people have the tendency to look, which is more here or a little bit more behind uh, their palm. If you feel pain in your traps and neck, you may have the urge to tuck your head under. You can do that, but only to a certain extent and still with the, the top of your eyes look up at the point that I mentioned. What I think it is better though to do than tucking the head under is try to externally rotate your shoulders more and this will take care of the pressure at uh, your traps and neck but this also may require improving your flexibility in your shoulders.